In this video, we're going to discuss very briefly wavetable synthesis, and I want to start by saying everything that we're talking about is actually invisible behind the scenes in the oscillators. This has nothing to do with it, but I'm going to use the, uh, the release, um, or the sustain rather, of my envelope as a visual example of kind of sort of what's going on here. So everything you visually see bear in mind, has nothing to do with what's really going on inside of our oscillator. So um, a wavetable synthesizer, ignore this, I'm going to get rid of it so you can't see it. Um, our wavetable synthesizer loads a wavetable as opposed to just a sine wave or a sawtooth as its sound creation unit. And what that means is by turning this knob, I can move through the wavetable, which morphs the sound from one sound into another and various states in between. So for example, I have loaded the square saw one, and as I move from left to right, it's going from square to saw, and I can move from a sine to triangle, for example, and we'll listen to that, your sine moving into a triangle. And as you become more familiar with these different sounds, if you are familiar, you would say, oh, that actually sounds, you know, I can hear the difference between the sine and the triangle. Here's a sine versus square. So now it's a square. Now it's a sine. Now it's somewhere in between. And what I said I was going to do here is kind of sort of what's going on is I'm morphing between two shapes. So I have this shape, shape one, I have this shape, shape two, and the wavetable is just kind of grabbing somewhere in between. So that's more or less what's happening inside of each of these. Uh, let's take a look at some something uh, more complex.